Hello. Today, we're going to take two points. And from those two points, we are going to create a slope intercept equation. That is our goal, a linear equation. Woo! Sounds fun, doesn't it? So first and foremost, the first thing we need to understand is that what is our goal? Our goal is to use those points on the left, and we are going to get them in y equals m x plus b. What does m represent in this form? Well, we already know. My m is my slope, which is also rise over run. My b is my y intercept. All we're going to do is solve for m, solve for b, plug it back into our y equals mx plus b, and we are done with this problem. So first, we're going to start with number one. We're going to bring it to the bottom so we have a little extra room. And we're going to rewrite the points given in a stack. That's the first thing we got to do. Now, if you recall, when we are learning about the slope and rise over run, it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, that can sometimes be annoying to solve for, and I prefer things that are a little seamless and thoughtless. What I mean by that is we don't have to consistently think about every step we do to make sure we're doing it right. We have a process that gets us to where we need to be uh, consistently, constantly, and confidently. So the first thing we're going to do in this situation is we put them on our stack, and all I'm going to do is differentiate my x's and y's. And we start with the y's first. I'm going to take top minus bottom and rewrite. We're going to go m equals 3 minus negative 1, just like that. And then on the bottom, we will do the x's. Let's do that in a different color. Let's do orange. And we see 0 minus negative 4. Now, we clean it up because we know when we have a minus a negative number, that becomes a positive. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 0 is 4. Simplifying, we get my m is equal to 1. Now, we will continue with trying to solve. Let's get this in a good color. Trying to solve now for b. We have my m. We still need B. Now, in order to solve for B, I plug my M back into Y equals MX plus B. And I'm going to take a point. Now, if we do recall that the Y intercept is always going to form when X equals zero. But however, let's consider that we don't recognize that that's the case. So since we don't recognize that's the case, I will take my 0, 3 point, bring it down, and I will plug that in for x and y. And then we're going to use those values to solve for b. So let's do it. We plug in 3 for y, 0 for x, and we solve. 1 times 0 is 0, and we immediately see 3 is equal to b. That finishes the question. We will then write the answer as it should be written, y equals mx plus b, which would be 1x, which we don't have to write, but we can write it just for simplicity for now, plus 3. Let's clean it up because we don't need to keep that 1 because it's, it's invisible at this point. And here is my answer. That's it. We are going to use two points, solve for slope, find that slope plug it back into the equation, use another point, solve for B. Let's do one more, call it a day. Number four, please. We're going to start with our stack. Negative four, negative two, all over negative three, five. Let's make sure we get this line in between. All right. 
Now, again, we need to solve for M first, right? M is my stack, so I can just do Y's first. Y's on top, negative two minus five. Then we're going to do X's, right? We'll do negative four minus negative three. Let's clean it up. Top becomes negative seven. Bottom becomes negative four plus three. Negative seven over negative one. Seven is my M. Now, this wasn't the same as last time. It was just a one. It's okay. We're good to go. As long as the stack method is done correctly and properly, we have found the proper slope. That is the correct slope. So next, we're going to apply this. Y equals 7X plus B. I plugged in my M back into my original equation with X and Y. I will now choose a point, one of these points that were given. I will just choose negative 3, 5, just because why not? And we are going to plug this in for X and Y. And then after that, we will have solved for B. We plug in five for Y, negative three for X, and solve. Five equals negative 21 plus B. In this situation, remember, we want B on its own. So I will add 21 to both sides. We will see that B is equal to 26. And then finally, I will rewrite my answer, y equals 7x plus 26, with an m of 7 and a b y-intercept of 26. Easy peasy. So when we have the stack method, solving for slopes becomes a very simple trick, and we, are, we can become very comfortable with this very quickly. Hope you had a great time. And if you need if you need more questions on how to graph these, please refer to the graphing y equals mx plus b video. Thank you.